morning guys, it's day 2 of Korea Today we are going to go to fish market, I heard uh, But some of us aren't here, so we're just gonna walk around first It's actually bright and sunny today, that's good And yeah, just go where we find It's really nice though, look at this It's like goes all the way to the beach so yeah we will be taking a train all the way to Jagalti station walked around Jagalchi fish market and let me just say that I have never seen this amount of seafood in my life. By that time, it was lunch, so we quickly went indoors for some very fresh seafood, like extremely fresh. We then went around exploring more of the fish market. So we just had lunch, it was a really good lunch, nice seafood, we really like the bus. Hello, can I say anything? You like the food? Yeah. Hello? I like the raw octopus, it yeah, was this so girl, delicious. This girl like just tried the octopus, now you like right? Uh, that's why I, I should like try something. Me. So before I was interrupted, I guess. I do not have a sudden urge to get a octopus or cuttlefish and you know keep it as a pet. I don't know, it just looks really cute. I don't know, maybe, maybe not. So yeah, I guess we're just gonna keep exploring the supermarket. Or around here, I'm not sure, we're kinda just wandering around right now. So yeah. Cuttlefish and octopus pet fantasies aside, we got out of the market to look around. Before getting on the bus, to go to Gamcheon Culture Village.
We then climbed up some stairs and ordered some coffee, which is delivered by hot air balloons. We then explored more of the village. where I helped to paint this mural and passed by Hello Gamjan. This is really cool. It's like nice little cafes, quite calm stuff, great artwork. So yeah, quite fun. Amazing views aside, my sister decided to try her luck on Korean gacha. We don't know what it means, but it sure is to bring her good luck. Eventually, we had to go back. But onto another bus ride. It is to Songdo Bay Station. Where we took a cable car. And after saying the magic words. So we just arrived here at Songdu Island. It's uh, like a mini island, a mini uh, theme park. It has uh, a lot of things to see, like look, it's a panda. And that one is the Bucket Dragon. It's quite interesting. Probably get out more later. And also apparently, there are dinosaurs on this island. So, welcome to Jurassic Park. Sadly, the Songdo suspension bridge was closed, so instead, we decided to spin. No, I'm the cameraman. I cannot help you. 
Going through the motions. <laughs> and tutorials. Teach you how to spin. First step, you gotta sit on this stick. Second step, you have to weigh over 80 kilograms. <laughs> Third, you need to move like this. Come on. If you fail the first time, like me, do it again. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Fall to be scared. Oh god! <laughs> and then you go back around. That's how you do it. <laughs> as well as interpreting tutorials. So I found this right next to the little playground. And all I can say is, this is what this is what FNAF will be. <laughs> this is exactly what happens after 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 the latest FNAF game. My God, William Afton. <laughs> Wait. Next it, here are the dinosaurs. We got Carcinodontosaurus, got Parasaurolophus down there, Triceratops right in front of me. Where is it? There you go. They're quite interesting. It's like the they just left some of like the decoration. Like this now is like Halloween. And so, they're kind of cool though. Gives it like a little Jurassic Park kind of vibe. So yeah. After that, there was one other place, which is the roof of the Songdo Island Station. Which had cool sculptures. But most importantly, the amazing evening view. I really like the afternoon. It's like it's quite calm. It's like yeah, it's just really calm, relaxing. I guess like all the yeah, we got like modern city life, but hey, at least we got this. we got still places somewhere to relax. Yeah. Oh, well, there's a big plane behind me. Look at that. Probably gonna take a picture on it. So. But eventually, it was time to go back.
After surviving Korea Drift, we headed out for dinner. Hello, dinner was amazing. It was so much meat, so much everything. And now basically we're just going back home, you know, enjoying the nightlife. And probably eating some snacks, I'm not sure. I don't know. So, yeah. We did get snacks from a nearby vendor. Kinds of animals, so I really hope you guys stick around for the next one.